Hi guys, welcome back to Nintendo Minute. We are here with very special <laughs> guest Lee Kovacs. Welcome. Yes, Hi. friend of friend of the show, <laughs> Lee Kovacs, who has been on the show many times now. I think so. Yes. Yeah. And we have Lee back because we are going to do another episode of Draw Our Gaming Memories. Yay. And in the first video we did with our gaming memories, you drew them. Yeah. But, but we didn't get a chance to share your memories. Right. I that know. was our fault. Well, because it was your memories, it wasn't mine. <laughs> so, but, but, We've all got memories now. Yes, yeah. everyone has yeah. their own memories. Um, so we brought you back because we want you to, again, draw our gaming memories, but also share your exactly. gaming memory um, with us too. So this time we're going to be talking about our first time playing our favorite yes. Nintendo game. It's so hard to choose. It's very hard yeah. to choose. You guys had some yeah. side we had, yeah. because there may, may or may not have been a game that was the yeah. same between the two of you. Um, I think I'm going to go first. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and, and, and then we'll we'll see how we really take it. Um, so my favorite Nintendo game of all time, and I think this is pretty well known now, is Super Mario World. And when I first played and got and played the game, I really played that game a lot by myself. Like I was like kind of solo playing it and it was really fun and I had like just the best time exploring that game. I think it was like the first game that really allowed you to like find the different secrets, replay levels, like discover, um, you know, different things that you don't really see your first playthrough. But I think what was really amazing about that game is how it's really stood the test of time. Because when I play, when I revisited that game again, I was in college and I really like got more friends that liked video games. <laughs> <laughs> when I first played the game, I didn't have very many friends that, that really, I didn't have many, very many friends, period. And I didn't really have very many friends that liked video games. So when I went to college, I met tons of people that loved playing video games as much as I did. And we would play that game all the time. And I was in, um, this like student union where we had a Super Nintendo and we would just have that game always on. And at any moment or any day, any hour, someone would just be like playing a random level in Super Mario, Super Mario World, which is amazing. So um, even to this day, I still go back and play Super Mario <laughs> World randomly because it's just like, it's just fun always. And no matter what, what you still remember all your fond memories, discovering those like cool secrets and it's just it's such an amazing game that it stood so long through all of these years in my mm. life. So that's my favorite Nintendo game. Very good pick. That's Thank good. You. Very good. Yes. You're going to go next, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so um, my favorite gaming memory is obviously Breath of the Wild. I'm just going to go pick the most recent game because it's like, it, it's so fresh in our memories, mm -hmm. you know? So it's, it's easier to go and think about it. Oh my gosh, when, when Breath of the Wild, you know, it was such a highly like anticipated game to have. I just, you know, we all just wanted it like right now. So my favorite memory and moment from that entire game was actually putting the game into the system for the first time. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then I needed absolute silence. You know when, <laughs> you're, like, when you're like, okay, okay, wait, wait, okay, you got to like focus. I made sure my kid was asleep in bed, <laughs> and I was like, okay, it's, it's my turn, I need my volume up, I just need full focus on my TV, and just letting the game start up and load, and that whole entire beginning of, of you know, Zelda saying, Link, wake up, you know? And then when Link comes out of the Shrine of Resurrection, and you see the overworld mm -hmm. of Zelda, of the entire Hyrule, and then the, lo the, the logo comes on. Right. I got teary. I <laughs> that actually happened. You get like chill. I get goosebumps even like listening uh, to you look, describe look, I got it. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's just like just that whole entire part was just like such a moving experience, and not hearing much sound like music or anything, and it was just like just you could just hear the world like the mm -hmm. entire just world of Breath of the Wild, yeah, and you already knew that wow, there's so much to this game already. Just in that little time and moment. Yeah. Goosebumps. <laughs> <There>. <laughs> We're all going back to Breath of the Wild uh, like immediately after yes. this. <laughs> so we had to coordinate because Breath of the Wild is actually my favorite game now. Well, it's now. a good game. And it's, so. a, it's an incredible game. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm going to go with my number two former number one, which is Super Mario 64. Oh, but that's and good too. I think it's interesting <laughs> that really all three of our picks are launch games for new hardware. That's true. So oh, Nintendo mm, Switch, yeah. 
SNES, yes. Nintendo 64, and I think that maybe there's something to that of like, yeah. not only is this an amazing new game, it's this type of experience that was right. never possible before because it's on the new a hardware. New hardware. It, could, yep. it could yeah, be like the whole. Right. It could be like the whole anticipation to yeah, the hardware. Yeah, I think so. And then your first like experience. It's like the first it. impression to the hardware right, and you get right. the game. So. Yeah. But yeah, I remember when I got my Nintendo 64 and Super Mario 64, I had pre-ordered both and it was it's kind of early days for pre-orders. It was like, are they going to have yeah. this? Are they not going to have it? And it was like kind of a shaky moment at the counter of like, oh, well, let's check the list. Let's see if you're uh, <laughs> a handwritten yeah. Non yeah, exactly. I'm like, okay, the receipt. List. <laughs> <laughs> but they had it, and we made it home. Uh, and I just started playing it and playing. It. I remember I said it. I normally had a place where I would play that was kind of in in the bedroom, but I brought it out into sort of the main TV like in our in our family room and was playing it there. And my parents were watching it too, and my sister was watching it too, and. You know, they didn't have as much experience with games as I did, but certainly my impression was like, wow, this is Mario in an entirely different way. I'd only known him up to this point in 2D games, yeah. and those games were incredible, and now there's this game that's totally different that still feels like Mario, but is completely different. And it blew my mind that you could take, you know, a character and a style of a game that I had only known one way before and do it completely different. And I think that's something that Breath of the Wild has in common too, is it still mm -hmm. feels like Zelda, but at the same time it doesn't. Yeah. And that's super cool. Um, and yeah, I just played that game again and again. And I, I remember I did not get another game for my Nintendo 64 for like a long time mm -hmm. after because I was just playing this game nonstop and I would find new ways to play it. And it was just so fun to move around those worlds. Um, and I remember even, you know, like Krista, I did not have so many friends and I was not so socially outgoing. So when I, even when I would have to like talk to somebody on the phone, I would play that game as I yeah. was on the phone because it was, just, I guess, comforting or reassuring yeah. to like me. Like a familiar thing to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. no, that game is incredible and I love it so much. I yeah. think that's one of the things all three games have in common is that you can play it for such a long time and still discover new right. things about totally. it with like Breath of the Wild, with Super Mario World and with... Super Mario 64, mm -hmm. like the, the replayability and just oh, even gosh. even now, like I, I know that in like 10 years, I can still go back and play mm -hmm. Breath of the Wild and I still will probably discover something new, just I mean, like I do with these games. I'm now. still not done with Breath of the Wild. Yeah. I, put, I put over 400 hours into the game. Yeah. I got all the Kurok seeds. I'm at 99.6%. <laughs> I swear, I've been keeping track of my percentage. I'm at 99.6%. And I'm just all over the place, and I'm just like, where's the other like, yeah, 0.4%? What else am I missing? But it's so fun to keep doing it. Yeah. You don't get tired of it. No, you know? not like, at all. I, like with you with mm -hmm. the Mario 64, just, you just make can't. your own fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can put that game in at any moment, in any day, and it'll still feel fresh. And yeah, fun. and it's just incredible how they've really just stood the test of time. Yeah, mm -hmm. like yeah. these games age so well. Yeah, totally. Well. Now I'm gonna go play all three games <laughs> yeah. at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> we would love to hear your guys' favorite uh, Nintendo game, your first impressions, your first experience. So let us know. And thank you so much, Lee, for yes. being here and for drawing oh. us yes. <laughs> and yourself. <laughs> yeah, I did make a cameo in the last one. That's true. Yeah, you made a little animated cameo. <laughs> All right, um, if they want to find out more about you, where should they go? Uh, my Twitter okay. uh, would be great, or uh, Lee Kovacs, or anywhere else, it's just my name. Okay, <laughs> great. You always yes. are drawing beautiful pieces of art and Thank making you. incredible Thank costumes you. and just doing all sorts of things that I'm just always amazed at, so okay. keep going. Thank and you. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, we are gonna wrap it up for today, and remember... Nintendo Minute is never a minute. See you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.